Hello everyone. Some time ago I created a video about how to behave in Revit and uh, how to control the direction of the lot. Sometimes it's quite hard to control what the lot does because it wants to follow one direction and it can get easily confused. Uh, I'm gonna show you this form as a tip for today and uh, what would we do to make the loft be created around in a spiral. If I select and I edit in place, well, first I drew the lines, the splines around, and the way I created this form was just select both lines and loft. So if you see the loft direction is not way up spinning around, but is from one line to the other. What about if we wanted to do something else? So that's what I'll try to show uh, how to do today. So if I dissolve this form, and if for instance I create a new family that I've prepared already before, just with two points and a line, and if I bring this line into my project, select the two faces, divide surface, and let's give it a big number, 50. And if I would place this line here, I say OK. I repeat it. All works reasonably OK. See that it just spins around and the line is repeated all the way up. If I wanted the, these lines to be lofted, of course going up all the way around, so I would select it and keep all the lines selected and say create form so unable to create form but if I think according to my previous video that I say that the loft is created always going up in on in set value so the first line is at zero and then it keeps going up 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 uh, it should have worked because although it's going around and around it's always going up uh, but we could think that Okay, there are a few more problems to this. Is that this line is obviously higher than this one, uh, and that one is higher than this one, but we might have a few cases here that you wouldn't be really sure which one was higher. So, what would we do? My idea, my first idea was okay, let's make this reference line and let's make a point here and create a line just between these two this way because I have that line I could force this one to be but make something very small load it back into project to go undo and redo so the repeated lines show so now we have this, we have small bits of lines and I thought, okay, so now each one of them will be above in Z value than the other one. And we can make sure, you know, just here, try to make sure that it's always going up. Yeah, it seems so. And because the line is very small, it will never have length enough to overlap with the next line. So if I select all, I create form, this thing would happen, which, let's admit it, it's quite interesting, quite an interesting shape. I would almost want to use it for something, but it's not what we're looking for. So if I go back, okay, this thing apparently doesn't want to follow our rules. We should never have a line that's not above the other, the next previous one. So it doesn't work. So I thought, hmm, interesting, maybe my theory is wrong. But if I go back, edit this family again, I thought hmm, maybe it could make it smaller. But I kept getting it smaller and it wouldn't make a difference. Till I found out that if I place a point, I set the work plane to be, well, this one. I move this line here. I might make sure that my point 
orients to global Z first and then host deck by Z. Then I create line. Yes, load it into the project, override. You see now all my lines are flat. So I select them all. So I have them all selected. I go create form and it actually works. Hmm, very interesting. But now, this is not what we want. We want a line that would go from one point to the other and maybe could do some other tweak and shape to it. But since this line, this lot has already been created, there is a, a very interesting thing with profiles. I've done it a few times. I was confident that this would work now, that if we go to this family, I could actually delete this line. I don't care about that line anymore. And I could use a new line. Use this one or create a new line. Uh, it's the same. And I could load it into the project. And now, because the loft has been created already, the loft will stay created. And our loft is being up with those profiles in the way, direction that we wanted. You'll see that you you'll be able to modify the shape to whatever you want with it and the loft is doing what we want it looks like I'm messing around, messing around with it too much yeah so it would do it so just for the sake of it I'm going to actually do what I was saying that we would like to do do some more interesting form <laughs> and load it back into the project. So our lot as weird as it might may be it will still work. Quite interesting now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tip and see you next time.